Well, if 19th century Australian artist Frederick McCubbin was still with us today, he probably wouldn't bother painting anything like this iconic image. The 1889 image that symbolised the melancholy and fortitude of the young colony of Australia in McCubbin's time, called Down on His Luck, is itself down on its luck. The Art Gallery of Western Australia has owned the painting since 1896, but, but for the past two years has had it and most of its other traditional treasures stashed away in a storeroom. The ABC reported last week the gallery is, quote, taking a radically different approach as director Colin Walker attempts to attract new audiences while wrestling with the ghosts of colonialism in a new age. Who needs those boring reminders of the stoicism of the people who built the nation when you can have what Walker calls a festival-like atmosphere instead? And how do you create a festival-like atmosphere? Well, it helps to be political. He said, quote, you've got to respond to issues of the day in some shape or form, and you've got to give more space to people and artists and communities and ethnicities who have just not had the access before, unquote. Issues of the day and ethnic representation? What is this, the SBS News? The ABC said the curator of the gallery's historical collections, Melissa Harpley, quote, felt a keen responsibility to look at the gallery's role in society in the contemporary context of Black Lives Matter, Me Too, and climate change, unquote. Here's a tip for any gallery that wants to be relevant in the age of Black Lives Matter. Leave some Molotov cocktails and a box of matches near your door so middle-class white kids can hurl them at the gallery's walls in the name of social justice. Because, you know, Black Lives Matter. Anyway, it turns out the gallery will let you see the McCubbin painting again now. But it's in a room surrounded by Aboriginal paintings, because otherwise it wouldn't be relevant. The world is a different place, Harpley told the ABC, and we can't be, quote, mired down in an old version of pretending everything's rosy because maybe it isn't, unquote. McCubbin would be amused, to say the least, to hear an art gallery curator of all people describe down on his luck as rosy. <laughs>